Being a hound is special. It's to be a part of something more important than just yourself. A red and white night is, there's nothing that compares to it. And we all dress up and get our face painted and get in our red and white and go out and cheer our hearts out for our team. Playing in red and white games is unreal. You got that whole school back in you and it's just an extra boost. And... It motivates you, it pushes you to have your classmates and staff there just cheering you on. Having a school and a family that's so close and um, such a big part of your life out there cheering for you definitely gives you an advantage. There's nothing like it. People know Notre Dame, they think of hockey, but the experience is far more than, more than hockey. My motivation to come here was definitely finding a school that thrived in all three areas that I was looking for, you know, definitely athletically, but also getting a good schooling. And being able to also get that spiritual aspect of it was very nice. Well, we follow the Saskatchewan curriculum. So we're, we're totally in line with the rest of the province. We have a cultural component that's also a part of the Notre Dame experience. It's like a multimedia club, music and choral, a drama, a fine arts. There's a really unique relationship between teacher and student out here. Everybody's on a first name basis, so that kind of gives you like, you know, it takes down that formality. It makes you feel comfortable around your teachers and make them feel like you can trust them and approach them whenever. I've seen teachers come during study hour. They'd come from their houses and come help you with your homework and stuff. You call them by their first name, like you feel like they're a part of your family as well. The relationships I've built with both the teachers and the students have opened my eyes to new things. Some of our alumni have done some unique things. For example, Daryl Kelly, I believe, is the youngest human ever to scale Mount Everest. I've expanded into playing football. I'd never played football before I came here. Adapting as a student, as a person, being more responsible. Works of Mercy is a mandatory program that we all take part in. It's part of our Christian ethics class. Every Thursday, we take 14 hounds and a teacher into the city and we go to some inner city elementary schools and we simply help the little ones. It sort of shows you how important giving back can be, how much an impact um, a little thing like helping a little kid read can have on them. To be a hound is to be a leader in society. We build leaders with character through education and character formation of mind body and spirit. The Sisters of Charity came here in 1920. They believed that their mission was to educate the poor. Father Murray comes in 1927. From there, there was a, a beautiful blending of, of the tradition of the Sisters of Charity of St. Louis and then Father Murray's ideals. Father Murray was really big on a, an authentic liberal arts education. Uh, he wanted his students to write well, think well, speak well. well Pere Murray had this plan for all young people. He wanted all the young people that came through here to achieve. Wanting to be the best person you can be in every aspect of life, whether that be on the ice rink, in the football field, or in the classroom. It's kind of like an extra motivation to know that you're a part of someone's plan like that. It kind of makes you push that little extra more to achieve. All throughout Canada and all throughout the world even, everybody knows of our program because people come from everywhere to come here.
there's the academic component, there's the spiritual component, there's the whole character component. But we also believe the hockey is one of our main hooks. Notre Dame again. Goals again at the TELUS Cup. You cannot deny the fact that a lot of families and, and students will look at Notre Dame because of the hockey. We chose Notre Dame for our family, basically for the hockey program. I trust the coaches that they're doing the right thing for each and every player. They get the best out of them. What it takes to get to the next level. It wasn't even in my wildest dreams that all three of them would be attending college and that Mandy would be attending Yale and that the boys would succeed in college life and hockey. To this day, the kids, you know, look back at Notre Dame as one of the best things we ever did for them. Pretty awesome to be able to say you wore the same jersey and played on the same ice as some great, amazing people. Vincent LaCavalier, Jaden Schwartz, Jordan Eberle, Brad Richards right now at the New York Rangers. They're our, our proud alumni now. Dear Notre Dame, we hail the alma mater. My Notre Dame experience is something that I feel very privileged to have. It's being a part of a family, being a part of something really unique and empowering. We're all a family. It doesn't matter where you come from all around the world. You work together as one. It's to be a part of something more important than just yourself. It's really going to push me in the future, knowing that I'm always going to be a hound. What though the odds be great or small, old Notre Dame will win over all. While her loyal sons are marching onward to victory. My Notre Dame experience was very rewarding. It, is, it has shaped the person I've become today and it has made me a much, a much better person. Whether you're here for a week, a year, or four years, you're changed by Notre Dame from the second you've been here.